everyone. So grateful and thank you for coming to visit my channel today. I have worked um, on this for uh, a while, working on it, meaning uh, practicing and trying different ways. And so I seems to like this, but we never know. And in a couple years, maybe I'll do a different way of painting Hyacinth with watercolor. But I have enjoyed doing this and uh, it turned out as I like it. And so I would just point out some of the part that um, when I uh, when I say goodbye to you guys, I've uh, finished a little bit of this background. So I fill out the rest and uh, I, I finish one of the bulb and I finish this one and maybe just tidy up something here and there. And that was it. And uh, so uh, it was rel relatively um, very similar to what I have been doing in this channel. But with this one, we have <laughs> plenty of chance to do little um, blossom and also practice uh, being able to have the color um, right up next to each other. I like to do that because, um, you know, there's something is necessary instead of leaving whites. Because imagine with all these blossom, if we leave a lot of white to separate the petals, it will be a very, very white, um, you know, painting. And I also, um, you know, talk about this with you in the painting about how I use the I always like to reserve the white color for actually for the highlights, you know, it make the uh, painting, uh, you know, sparkle a little bit. Anyway, and so all the information and also a drawing of this, I have to go and redo the drawing because I just draw this, you know, as I'm looking through reference photo, I take one blossom from one uh, picture, one blossom from another picture, and then just put it together. So I will have a drawing there if, uh, in case you guys need it. And uh, I think it is very fun. And don't worry about uh, having, you know, it seems kind of complicated, but it is a very, very good practice for us. Just take your time. I know that I, because of so many blossom and elements, I try to um, go as fast, you know, no, not really go as fast, but go faster. And because of the gigabytes, right? I always call it the gigabyte it takes to edit and upload the picture, the painting. But as for you, um, do take your time and enjoy it and try to just, um, you know, soak in the what you're doing and the technique, okay? And uh, all the color that I use will be there on the blog post. It will be, um, I put some uh, quinacridone violet on top of the dioxazine purple and then there are some area that has pink gray and then my little green mix. I didn't really use yellow, I just used a little spot here and there for the background. Um, and then the sepia color because of the, you know, the muddy nature, the dirt nature of uh, a bulb pushing, pushing through, right? And I hope you have a nice spring. In Utah, spring is not here yet. But, oh, I need to um, stop talking so much because this video is a tag little longer. And so um, I would just uh, leave if any question you can ask me. And, uh, and you guys uh, have a good time, okay, painting this. Okay, let's get started. And so um, I think we'll just uh, go to here in this part. And uh, I, you know, oh. I dropped my pencil. I know that I heard something dropped. And uh, suddenly, I'm just like, oh, okay, this, this part, I'm not quite happy, you know, with it. And so I'm going to uh, change that in my drawing just a little bit. And you see, you see how it goes. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is proceed with the, with this, um, uh, with my very detailed brush. I. <laughs> um, and go into a mixture, but mainly in the beginning it will be it will be um, the perline green and with a little bit of sap green. Okay, this um, this uh, Hyacinth painting has taken me the longest time to get it ready, and um, it was kind of funny because I, I keep changing my mind. I keep telling myself, okay, I don't really now. You know, I don't uh, like really like the composition. One of them, I don't, you know, and I so I was trying also. Now I'm gonna dip some uh, clear water so that uh, it will be more like a clearer and pull out those color as uh, 
is a quite signature of what I usually like to do and then now I'm going into a little bit of sap green and just kind of drop it and let the color kind of mix and mingle in here okay and then I also will use a little bit of that uh, dioxazin purple and put it there okay so it's kind of um, that's what I'm going to do with this one two three four now does this uh, one two three four okay four of the I guess it's the bud you know that's the way Hyacin um, like to you know I'm skipping this this one bud over here uh, because you know it is a lot uh, easier to not um, worry about you know getting that one getting the color from this one run into that one okay now a little bit more intense of the pigment I just go pick up some and so what I'm doing is I started from this area and so that and pull the color out okay and now my brush is kind of clean and just pulling those pigment and if the pigment is not intense enough then I'll go back to the pigment and you know bring out a little bit and then I'll go to the green the sad green because um, you know <laughs> Like I said, I keep changing my mind. I not I change my mind on everything on this painting. And finally I um arrive in this that I'm actually quite happy with, but it is just kind of funny. Because uh last year I also have um okay now going back into the pigment pool, okay, and assume that this is quite dry. And then I'm going to come over here and you know starting from the bottom, so the color in the bottom is more intense and the color in the top is less intense because this way then the form you know it's like a what do you call that you know now it's Easter time I'm thinking about the Easter mini eggs candy um, but it's roundish you know there's a form an oval form to them instead of uh, just a flat oval right <laughs> Easter mini egg thank you for uh, putting up with my description descriptive um, vocabulary <laughs> And, uh, and so I just keep changing my mind, keep changing my mind. That's why it takes me so long. Because each time I, um, you know, so I started with a little bit of the purple color here. Now, clean brush, okay? And pull the color out a little bit because um, I just want a variety of the color mix, you know, the free color mix on this uh, bundle of the butt. Now I'm going back into with the perlene green. Now you don't have to worry because, you know, I also, you know, of course have... Um, now going in the and clean up that brush and pull out the color and then I will dip in the sap green and just let the color mix in here okay I uh, every time I had a different feeling I changed my mind or whatever about something I would um, okay now I, I'm intensified this this adjust a little bit I actually don't have to do it now I don't know why I'm doing that I could actually do it when when I am gone to the other part but sometimes you know because of the time's sake, right? We are, um, we are, uh, we are in such a hurry, and so we don't have. Uh, just a minute, let me get that. I will be right to there. I didn't need to tell you when I leave. So what I just uh, find out is I forgot my reference photo. Can you believe that? And so, um, you know, since um, now this drawing is going to be in the, in the. Um, okay, so now I'm dipping in some very intense dioxazine purple. Okay, right here, dioxazine purple, I'm dipping in the, you know, very, very intense part, okay, of the purple color because I'm going to do the middle part of this, this, uh, uh, this uh, flower, you know, so, you know, what we're gonna, what we're actually doing here is we're just um, doing lots of little flowers, okay, so that's, uh, you know, with so many petals, you can see that there will be a lot of flower now. This is, I'm going to go through this over and over again, you know, so you don't have to really worry, okay? So I'm flicking out the middle vein with uh, some intense pigment, okay? And then the side, and maybe I outline the side, okay? Go in, clean the brush, and now this is a clean brush with a little bit damp brush, and then I go in and pull the color out while the purple is still wet, okay? Now, um, I was t telling you a little bit um, about, um, you know, how I keep changing my mind. And so every time I change my mind on a method, I go in and practice a new painting. And so that's why this is like taking me, you know, so long because, you know, I always have some kind of a standard in my mind. Okay. Now the same thing you can see. Okay. Going in with intense pigment, I'm going to do this right here. Okay. This, this uh, petal of the little flower. 
Okay, you see that I'm doing the middle. Now, the color is not very, you know, it's not color very saturated right now because um, sometimes when you dip in your, when you dip into your little palette there, sometimes the color like to come out, sometimes it doesn't, but it doesn't matter, see, because I clean the brush and there's a clean brush and I'm pulling out the color, okay? And so this is the final method that I totally am happy with. And so finally, um, now, if uh, some of the line, you know, you see that you take away too much of your line, don't worry about it. You can always come back. You can always come back later and intensify that, okay? So, now, uh, while I'm doing, I'm going back and forth, okay? I want this to be even more intense. So, I put a little bit more, okay? A little bit more intensity of the pigment. Now, um, also, we can, like, see, I'm going to do the vein a little bit. Just flick that. Now, um... We can do it at the very end. We can come back and add on to the vein if you want. If you feel like the veins has, um, you know, kind of disappear. Okay, clean the brush. You know, just a little damp brush with no pigment. Okay, come in and pull out the color. Okay, and so each time I change my mind on the way I wanted to do it, I go in and do a new painting. And so now I have like um, five, six of the practice because. You know, I change little thing here and then I look at it. I hope that's not going to be me, like as I age. <laughs> I'm getting pickier and pickier. And you see that I leave a little bit of white for the, and that's for the highlight, okay? And you know that as I'm painting, I butt the, the color right next to each other on the petal. I don't use the, I don't use uh, some of the watercolor artists uh, out there. They like to uh, leave white, you know, imagine. A painting with that many thing but against each other if you leave white on each leaves how many white will your painting be right and so I don't like uh, like to do that especially on this one maybe simpler thing you can and uh, even with the you know that you have seen the Asian oriental color that I painted the last two times um, I don't like to leave a lot of white for separating petal but I leave the white for I reserve the white for the um, highlight, okay? And that's uh, my method of doing that. I find that that's more, you know, it takes a little bit more skill, but you can do that. And uh, and it's uh, now, I'm doing the center vein again, okay? I'm starving. Some of them I start from the side because if that one look like it's bent that way, you know, uh, towards that way, then I, 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 I can make this part darker than this part. Clean brush. Again, you know, clean the brush in your water and start pulling out the color, okay? And if you say, ah, oh, the pigment, it's not enough pigment because, you know, it's really kind of hard for you to tell, right? Even with me, so you can go back and forth, okay? Clean the brush and then dip the pigment, you know, and pretty soon as you practice and practice, then it become a very, very much second nature to you. And then you don't have to worry, you know, about knowing, you know, I know that sometimes some of you, you know, ask me question and say, you know, because I think that in, in the beginning it is very hard and I understand that it really is for, um, for uh, like, see the center vein here with uh, intense pigment, I come in here, okay, and then I outline a little bit of the side of the, the little petal here, okay, and so this is one blossom here, right, you can see that the blossom, now clean brush, okay, the blossom is coming you know coming to sight right and so this is what we're gonna do and so when you practice this one even though it might seems a little bit wow you know so many flowers to do it's very good for you and me you know with lots of time to practice uh, painting petals you know so each uh, painting will be practiced right as we have talked about that and so don't um, uh, try to avoid painting that you perceive it as a little um, complicated or hard because you know each painting there you know because of the nature of nature we have um, it gives you now the center thing okay it gives you chances to practice everything and so more diverse you know we paint some animals some birds you know we can even like I, I have uh, thought now uh, clean brush okay I have thought about um, you know, doing, uh, you know, I think easier of doing human is do fairies, right? And so maybe we'll do that in the future. I'm thinking about it and, uh, you know, thinking about how you guys can draw it and, you know, and things like that, you know, copy me, copy the drawing 
and uh, it's not frustrating. So um, it's going to take a little while for me to figure it out and think about how to do that. Okay, now there's a pedal that is folded this way. Okay, so it's kind of short because it's it's uh, the perspective, right? It's looking at you. Okay, doing the vein, and so. Um, I'm going to, you know, uh, because it looked like a triangle suddenly because it's a folded leaf, okay? So what I do is I go into a lot of different pictures, okay? So it's like a folded leaf, okay, right now. It's folded at this point right here, okay? And bend over, okay? I go into a lot of um, reference and then I, you know, I just start drawing. <laughs> That's what I do, I just start drawing and then I you know, we'll come up with the final, you know, I take one petal from this picture, one petal from that picture, and then I, you know, and then finally, okay, clean brush, okay? I have a little bit too much water, as you can see, but that's okay, you know? You'll be, you'll be comfortable like that after you've done things for a while and practice for a while, you know? You don't even worry about, you know, oh, the moisture, you know, there must be a trick to it. Well, the trick is a lot of practice and you get to use your brush. Get used to, I mean, get used to your brush and you also get used to... Now, I'm going to um, intensify this area right there so it looks like, you know, things are spraying out, okay? Because as you, um, as you practice more and more, then you get used to everything, all the material that you use. And it's very, very hard, um, like in the beginning, to, you know, tell you, you know, because it's a feel, okay? So you look at it as a feel. And uh, and Lori, Lori is my friend, and she can um, attest to that. She really, um, I think she's been following me for a while. And uh, she will tell you, um, you know, like she told me that, hey, Kathy, I'm doing better, okay? Now, it's the cup form, okay, of the kind of like the trumpet that's behind the pedal, okay? And so I'm going to go in and do that part. And since it's a cup form, then I need to pay attention, right, to the form. And so I want this side to be a little bit darker, okay? And so that you can see uh, that it is kind of like a cup, cupping shape. And um, and if, uh, you know, if this, uh, you know, so it's a tip now, ding, 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 a tip on the, um, on the coloring mix, okay? Pigment, and then now come in with clean brush and soften that, okay? Uh, ding, ding, ding. Uh, uh, this uh, dioxazin purple and paints gray make a beautiful purple gray, okay? So if you wanted to, um, like, uh, if you ask me, hey, Kathy, give us a video of what uh, what is the color, you know, that you like, you know, and combination, well, you know, Actually, we discover together as we do this channel uh, the combination mix, okay? Because as we do different flowers and animals, then we need to use different color. And then, no, I'm just gonna let that um, the line over there disappear like a disappearing line, okay? Into the leaf. Because I, I presume that this side is where the sun and the light coming from the top, right? And so over here, you can do it, do things a little bit darker. And talking about that, let's intensify this petal right here, okay? So it kind of separate between this one and these two, okay? The one that's coming from behind. And you can use more intense color over here because, you know, it is the darker side. Like, uh, okay, I just told you about paint gray. So I dip some paint gray, okay? And then that will even push the that petal back. And look at this uh, beautiful grayish purple color. Okay, now I also wanted to, I want to show you this now, okay? Like Kathy always tell you, I always tell you, I don't like uh, one purple, okay? So I'm dipping in the quinacridone violet, okay? Which is another form of purple, and then putting it on some of the petal. So it just brings the color alive, okay? We like color, that's why we do um, painting, right? And so, you know, when there's color that we can sneak in, we do that. Okay, so it uh, it makes the more dimensional. It makes the, you know, my little uh, zero brush always flick water, so I have to keep an eye on it. Now this is the little one that I have changed my mind uh, because I can see that it needed a petal over there. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, so what I changed my mind on is I just added a little petal 
in the beginning of this video with my pencil. Okay, so I wanted to do that. It's kind of like this little triangle here, okay? Now, clean brush. It looks like I have pigment. I actually don't. I'm pulling the pigment from the line that I've drawn in. And that's what I, uh, I've decided that's the best way, you know, to do this painting. Now, you can see that I might be, you know, uh, because I've done six of them, right? I, like I told you with practice, so I have a lot of practice. And uh, as for you, you know, uh, this will be a very, very good painting to just, you know, take your time. I wanted to, I, I had tried some, um, you know, more spontaneous kind of style. It didn't look very good. We can do that with our um, lilac bushes when, when the lilacs start blooming around this area. But as of right now, with this one, we need to, we need to do this like uh, kind of a little bit called a fine line, okay? So that we can uh, accomplish what nature has given us over here. Hyacinth is everywhere now, you know. Utah is still my yard I, as I'm looking out. It's still under deep snow right now, okay? Like I'm leaving air over there, okay? And uh, the deep snow is from just, we have a lot of storms, but we like it. We are supposed to like it. I mean, I don't like it because I have to um, shuffle a lot of snow. I, we actually have a snow blower and that's not really that bad, but still. Um, <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> I actually like to shuffle snow um, for exercise, you know, and I like to go out in the nighttime actually to do things like that because that's just my nature. Because it's very quiet in the nighttime, and uh, but it's a little bit colder. But I guess, you know, I, I complain because my husband complained. And so actually, I shouldn't complain because I actually like it. Then why am I complaining? Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> Okay, now I'm dipping my um, my dioxazine purple with the paint gray, okay? Because I want this part to be a little bit darker and push back, okay? This is the little trumpet part, okay? But all you can see is some kind of odd shape. It almost looks like a parallelogram. But, you know... And so, you know, um, we need to... Uh, learn to appreciate art shape, okay? We really do because shapes and forms are shapes especially makes beautiful things, okay? We don't want every petal to be facing us. I promise you we don't um, Because as we do that then it's it's almost like um, Nature doesn't you know because this is hyacinth is a rounded blossom, right? And so you don't you know, you can't just uh, paint every petal facing us and so as we learn to appreciate um, nature's way of uh, now I'm going to put a little bit of uh, you know and so this is a practice of uh, also getting to use shape okay I'm going to put a little bit of shape here like a flower coming a petal coming out and then I'm going to go in and soften that all together okay like uh, you it just can't disappear into the air okay and that's kind of you know we're using watercolor right we know that we're watercolorists and so we like to do that but you know <laughs> also you don't we don't also always have to uh, do watercolorists okay we like art right like me um, if uh, if all the day of my life you know I can just do Art. Let's just say do art. We're not not about doing painting. Okay, I'm doing. I'm flicking the middle. Okay. Now also with purple, you need to know purple settle on the page very quickly. Okay, it's not like red. Uh, I always complain about red. You know, sometimes it's just for funny, and sometimes it's just because red is red. It's just hard. You know, because um, you can come back uh, two months later after the painting is done and your red can still be moved around but not purple okay so purple and red we remember that and so when you do purple you do need to be a little bit um, faster in your brush you know and, and cleaning and dipping and cleaning your brush because um, I'm just gonna do the same thing okay over here I'm gonna let that uh, disappear into the air Okay, isn't that pretty? 
I just love that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of perline green, okay, and then just kind of slightly sneak that into the flower. Okay, I do that too. Okay, because uh, you know because the flower has green and it has blue and it's just beautiful, right? It has purple and then green, and so let's not forget about uh, sneaking green. But I do because I'm talking and like I I say. Uh, earlier to you. This is a very, very good painting for you to uh, practice taking it slowly, okay? Like you don't have to go as fast as, as I do. I'm actually going back and forth to my uh, to my water really fast because I, you know, but you don't need to do that. Just as long as you do it at once. That's what I mean when I talk about the, um, uh, when I talk about the purple, uh, being uh, very fugitive. No, purple being very permanent, okay? Uh, if As long as you do it now, I'm putting on some uh, red purple quinacridone violet on here, okay? Just to, to make sure that the, the each petal is just nice and beautiful, okay? And, uh, and uh, so uh, you can see that I am actually going quite fast though, right? Like I told you, but uh, you don't have to, okay? You just have to take your time and and uh, you know, and uh, like you can slowly do each petal, but don't leave the petal till tomorrow to come soften the color because then the purple will just say, Oh, I'm here for good, I don't want to leave. I'm just gonna be your friend and just stay here, okay? And so you, <laughs> you won't be able to correct some of the mistake, you know, on the painting. Uh, you know, or soften any line, okay? Okay, that's, uh, I'm gonna let this come this way, okay? It's a different, it's an odd shape, and I like odd shape, but I tell you, you know, we need to uh, learn to appreciate all different shapes, okay? And be able to see that with perspective, I guess that's what you call that. I need to, a little bit, bit more intense pigment, a little bit of odd shape, and then um, it will make the flower look dynamic, you know? As you know that, right? When you go out to look at flowers, they don't. Okay, and that's quinacridone violet. Okay, they don't all facing you. And even this one is like a little bit sideways. Okay, and this pigment again. I need more intense pigment because like this one is kind of underneath, right? So it will have a little bit of more of a shadow. And as we work the painting, you will see that I will uh, bring in a little bit more, uh, like, okay, right now I can put in a little bit of paint spray over here, okay? Just to make this more pushback into the shadowy part, okay? And then uh, paint spray and, uh, okay, there's an odd shape over here because this two petals are butting against each other, right? And so that's how I do that. I put a little bit of uh, paint spray over the here to separate that flower petal from this one. Okay, is that pretty? Is that fun? Okay, let's uh, go on to this one. And uh, and so I decided that uh, now this one uh, there's not a not a strict line over there. Okay, I need to put a line over here to separate that. You can see that that strict way. Okay, so you can see the middle part. And so we want the middle part to be deep and dark, right? And then we pull the pull the mid uh, pull the uh, vein out. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to also dip a little bit of paint spray and darken it right away, okay? And then you you will probably see that I will come in and darken them as I go. You know, soften this line next to it. And then get some more pigment for, let's do this petal right here, you know, um, because I've done so many of the practice paintings, sometimes I look at this and I say, you know, I'm so confused about my own drawing. It's like the joke that people talk about, like sometimes they talk about their own penmanship, right? They cannot, uh, they cannot, uh, discern their own writing. And so my problem with this painting, I cannot discern my own drawing. 
<laughs> because there's many petals and I did draw this uh, like uh, last night before I go to bed so that I can come up this morning and uh, and and uh, and uh, try to paint it right and so you know that's even worse right because if you have drawn it drawn it right away then you don't I draw this and then I go do some exercise and then I come up and it's like okay what do I want to happen over here <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do the exactly the same thing. Keep going for every petal, and then we finish this area, and then we uh, the leaf is actually quite important because they are beautiful. And uh, for this painting, this time we're gonna choose not to worry about the the base, uh, the butt. Uh, not not worry, but we will just gently uh, put something there and some color there to portray that there's a there's a uh, the bulb. The bulb, which is the beautiful, beautiful. I, I love the bulb of uh, of uh, Hyacinth. Okay, they're very, very beautiful. But um, so next year, I'm thinking that when we come back and visit the Hyacinth in the spring, then we'll do a painting with just the bulb, just the bulb with some uh, shoots out. But um, we're not going to worry about the flower so much because I think that the bulb is something that's worth uh, our effort to do a painting. You know, um, like um, I always say, you know, as uh, just a, uh, you know, we, you know, just a human being that like art, right? We don't only appreciate color, you know, or shade uh, or flowers, right? Like, um, okay, I'll tell you this funny story in a minute, okay? We need to learn to uh, appreciate all kinds of loveliness in the nature. And I happen to like uh, trees and bushes and uh, flowers on tree like little flowers you know and and those kind of thing right and I one thing that I like the most is decay right when uh, plants in the autumn they start uh, you can see I leave a little bit for a highlight right they start uh, dying off and I love to paint decay and I know that a lot of our artists love to paint decay because you know you you learn to like the color of dark and the skill to make decay come alive, right? And so I just love that. And um, so when we get into more of the video, uh, I will paint decay, like maybe a sunflower decay. Those are very, very beautiful. And I just love that. And so um, in our ladies in the in the church, right, in our group, there's a, you know, there's a hiking group. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you know, so this is just chatting, right? I, I know I'm kind of strange, you know? I know I'm not like, you know, my tastes are different and I'm not quite, you know, I don't know, I don't know how to describe myself seriously. But um, I, uh, so one time, uh, the person that's in charge of the, you know, she's one of the the ladies, you know, she, we call her the Release Society President because she, she, uh, she is in charge of a lot of things, you know? You know, we rotate leaderships, you know, so one day I might, oh, well, actually, I have been a Release Society president when I was a student at, uh, at BYU. And anyway, so she wanted me to say uh, they maybe they were kind of bored with, um, okay, so I'm, I'm uh, now putting back some of the vein in, okay, and uh, bored with their hiking um you know, and they know I like to hiking their hiking destination, okay? So I have no idea where they have been. I'm putting some violet in here, okay? Just to bring out the, the difference in the color, right? A little bit more intense, okay? <laughs> and so, oh, I think I have another petal over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm gonna skip this one then. Okay, and make that into a leaf. Okay, now, what did, what did I do? Oh, you know, I was just like saying that, you know, the one that with the little pink gray, okay, I need to come in and kind of smooth out because, you know, since it's not the same pigment, sometimes it uh, it will decide to mix, uh, you know, differently, okay? So I just did that. And uh, so she asked me to take them somewhere and my husband take me to a lot of places. So, so I said, okay, okay, I'll just do that with you guys now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and just, uh, you know, do some kind of odd shape, okay, like what I did over here, just to suggest that there are things over there, maybe from a, 
from a petal from the other side of the plant, okay, that come over here, okay, and uh, you see it, but you don't see it, and then I'm going to just uh, kind of pull the color out and let it disappear, okay? So what that, is, what that does is like, you know, it introduces more watercolor uh, characteristic to the plant and also, um, and also filling out, you know, the spot that should be from the back, okay? So I just uh, put some pigment over here, okay? I'll do it one more time. Over, over, maybe, uh, maybe uh, over here, okay? How about over there, okay? Um, and so she had asked me and said, Kathy, will you take us to hiking? You know, just pick a, you know, a place that you like and then we'll go together, okay? And so I, I really like that. And so, um, but I don't like to go as early as they do because sometimes I don't get up as early as they do because I, I don't sleep very well at night a lot of time, but it's getting better. It's getting better. Now I do the intermittent fasting sometimes, you know? And so it's like fixing my blood sugar problem, okay? So see? That looked like a petal from the behind behind this uh, cluster of flower, but you can see it and you don't. You know, it's not that, uh, you know, so let's do something. Okay, let's do the let's do the uh, stamp, okay? Now I'm changing to the number two. It's a stiffer brush, okay? A number two brush that you, if you guys want to know which one I use. Now there's a stamp. You can go to my sunsetpeony.com and uh, there's a product list and my daughter will have... I think um, put uh, so uh, now I'm picking up some uh, uh, pigment of uh, perlene green plus some uh, plus some uh, sap green okay so I'm putting it in the color okay so now it's very very detailed work so a detailed brush will benefit you very much okay and a sharp point but this one is not very sharp but I decided that you know, I need to take advantage of what it is, and uh, yeah, and so you go to sunsetpeony.com and uh, uh, and in my blog, and then there's a product list, and then you can go in and see where I get most of my brushes. Now, over here, I'm going to put the blue, the no, dioxazine purple, the blue purple over here, okay? And just let the color mix with the green on the stamp on the page okay now the blue side what it is is the is the side where it is darker okay so that my uh, my my stem in here just that little segment of the stem looks uh, more sort of uh, cylindrical okay instead of like a square you know okay so we follow this line okay from the stem and come over here and do the same thing okay yeah, so they, so I did. I took them on a hike, and I didn't notice anything. But I might still be, you know, wrong about this. You know, I love my friends in the, you know, uh, you know that I go hiking, and then uh, so we come back from the hike, and I love that hike. It's one of my all-time favorite hike because of the uh, intensity level and the, you know, and the. You know, the, you can see mountain and some stream and a lot of trees, okay? A lot of trees. And in the autumn, it was just beautiful. And so I, you know, I came back and then we were coming back. And one of the, one of the, the friend, the sister, you know, she say, I want it next time to go to see flowers. Let's go to this hike, this hike, this hike, and so we can see flowers. And then they, you know, and then, uh, you know, she keep talking the whole time about seeing flowers. And so I realized that, finally, I realized to myself that maybe I have taken them to a wrong spot because there might be some flower. They had some decay, you know, from the last year. And most of the thing that you see in that hike was mainly um, trees. But, you know, since I'm an artist, I've learned to appreciate and dead leaf, dead leaf from the year before. And so I learned to appreciate those things, right? Very, very much. And, you know, nature, I find beauty in everything, you know, seriously, you know? And so the whole time, I guess it was a harder hike for her, maybe. And she also um, did not uh, really enjoy the... I guess she really didn't enjoy it. Okay, let's work on this, okay? Now, this uh, is a little uh, shoot that's coming out, okay? So uh, I'm so glad I went and... Uh, let me, let me... 
pushed so, off. Um, so I think what happened to her is she really didn't like it. <laughs> she really didn't like the, you know. And so I'm going to stay with this brush. Should I do that? And nope, I'm going to go back to my number zero. Okay, now and so she just um, really did not like the hike that we um, that I choose to go with them because. Seriously, there was not a lot of flowers and there are hikes that where you can see a lot of flowers And so I finally wake up, you know, I don't take hints very well, you know, I really don't you know with me I'm a very straightforward kind of person. Okay, uh, straightforward, but I learned to be more kind about telling people things um, Not as direct and brutal. Let's call it that way and so that uh, you know, it's easier on people, right? And so I'm not, you know, I'm not brutal. Okay, now I go into some pigment of the perline green, okay? Reverse of that, okay? Because I wanted to do it that way just for the fun of it, okay? And uh, and so I've decided to not, uh, okay? So if you say, okay, I want this to be more like a, like a bud, then you put a little bit of intense, uh, I just go pick up some paint spray. Now you need to watch it watch the, the the mixing of color here but anyway <laughs> i just realized that they didn't like going on a hike that is so green and no flowers right and then i i you know i think about things like that i do i do contemplate a lot you know and i thought to myself you know it was beautiful i always like go with my husband and we just absolutely love it love the scenery love the big mountains and you know oh and I say, oh my gosh, they didn't like it. I tell my husband, they didn't like it. They want to go see flowers. And then they talk about going, driving two hours to a flower height. Oh, I understand that, you know. And so they can take pictures, you know. But um, but the moral of the story really is, um, you know, I hope you guys learn to appreciate and like things that are not um, like as you, as you, um, and I, I'm sure that a lot of you have already it's, it's already that way, right? Like, um, like I always say, not not a not a always a, a twenty or sixteen year old or twenty five year old woman are beautiful, right? I like I I I learn to appreciate older women with you know wrinkles and lines and whatnot because it it tells a story sometimes like if you know if we are the kind of people that like to smile a lot you know then the the line is uh you know around the mouth right and uh knit their brow and it you know and then they get more line you know and uh you know my my very good friend in the in the area and she she likes to drink uh, uh soda i mean you know her soda habit i know that you know sometimes you know, probably so much, you know, probably shouldn't be drinking so much uh, soda. Um, Dr. Pepper or Diet Coke, I don't know what she does, but, uh, you know, and so she had a straw line around her mouth. You know, I, I, I learned to appreciate people, you know, because I think, I think a lot of um, older women are very, very beautiful. You know, one time I was uh, watching a movie, um, I don't remember what movie, and I was looking at the uh, the mother of the the main character, and I say, "Wow, she she's beautiful." And uh, my son-in-law kind of look at me, and uh, and then look back and say, "Yeah, I, I, I guess she is," you know, because um, I have learned to um, look at uh, look at people, you know, differently. You know, I like the the shape, and I think that you know. You know, when we get older, we also, there's something that happened to us, we get more angular, our shape, our face, you know. And so, I, I, I also like that, you know. I don't quite like the soft roundness of the of the youthful beauty that people uh, praise. But I know that they are beautiful, of course, you know, because, you know, if you don't like lines, you know. So, I'm going to age gracefully. I, you know, have uh, not any plan. I probably would not even dye my hair, you know, and just let it because uh, that's health reason. I I don't know, you know. I I I don't like chemicals, and so okay, there need to be a butt over here. Let me take an eraser and erase this line, right there. There need to be a butt over here. 
I think. So I just added that. And so I really um, just kind of learned how to appreciate beauty, right? And uh, of course, you know, as you age or as you, you know, live in this earth for longer, there are people that are just beautiful because they are very kind or they're very helpful, you know. Oh, one time I was like uh, watching, a, watching a show and it was about the bombing of uh, Germany somewhere. And uh, they were talking about this this uh, lady had the heart of gold, you know, but um, she's kind of, the way she talk, you know, her husband loved her, you know, because she was always willing to help, you know, and she, you know, she, you know, is that her little daughter or they, yeah, I think she, it was her little daughter. And so uh, she was the, the little daughter was the only one that came out of the bomb and uh, of the bombing. And so, but they say that don't worry, you know, uh, they, the other lady has gone back to where she is, you know, her maker. And uh, because she has done so well, she's nice to animals, you know, she feed them and she's nice to, nice to people in a very, very subtle way, you know. Uh, and so I, I, I love people that are very, very kind because they are nice to people in a very subtle way, you know. And sometimes, you know, you... You don't always like, not always the most, you know, soft-spoken people are the nicest people, right? They have just learned to be soft-spoken. It doesn't mean that their heart is nice. I have seen so many rude comments come out of soft-spoken people, seriously. Now, that's my rant, you know, don't mean to be negative, but, you know, it is true. And with life, you know, sometimes it's just hard, you know. But uh, soft-spoken people are very well liked, easier in the beginning, I think, by people, you know. And I need to learn to be, you know, and I try to be more soft-spoken and not not always like that. But it's people's heart, right? That you learn to love and how kind kind they are. But sometimes it's, you know, I don't know. People's emotions are kind of strange, you know. Okay, so this uh, cluster of uh, buds are done, okay? Some yellow and some uh, almost done. I still have this one to do, you know, and some perlene green, you know, and so, um, you know, I guess it's just my uh, philosophy, you know, of learning to like people because of their heart, right? Not because of their action or because of the way they speak. Now, I think that sometimes, though it is very, very hard, you know, for us, you know, to uh, learn to. But, you know, like you, how you appreciate your mom for making you wear a jacket when you go out when you were young, right? You don't appreciate that at the point, you know, or making you eat healthy food is the, the, I mean, it's kind of like the same theory, right? You want someone to really love you, to be helpful to you, you know, but at the time, you know, and of course it's a bonus if the person that's helpful is also very gentle, you know, about it, but, you know. You know, with children, sometimes you're too gentle about them getting a... Now, I'm intensify this area, okay? Intensify that to separate this one from this one, and I will do that with that too, okay? You see how they then they are more separated, okay? And uh, you can see that more clearly. Now, I do the... The reason why I do the middle part is because I wanted to put some shapes over here too, okay? Now, I can probably use the this pointy color because pointy brush because it's so fine that you can come in here and put you know and and uh, be very very make very very sharp line okay now just a little color and then I go back to pigment and then I drop in because I don't I'm not making any particular shape I'm just trying to you know make an illusion uh, of something is at the back right so it's not just like a white space okay and then I use a clean brush and pull out pull that out okay soften the edge okay that's what I call pulling it out okay and I'm going to do another shape right here this will be a little bit longer and I uh, do apologize a little bit but not a lot because you know some flowers are just like that you know some flower you can you know just slap in the you know slap in the color very quickly but not this one okay so do you see that I pull some color out now I'm going to like put some over here too okay just uh, well actually that one can be 
Oh, do I want to do that? Hmm, yes. Okay. Just a little bit of uh, like a, a little petal coming from behind, okay? Yeah, so that's my two cents of how I, you know, learn to love my friends, you know. Just real, uh, real kindness, you know. Like uh, the other day, you know, somebody actually uh, was scolding us because uh, she's 70 some years old. And uh, she was uh, very, very upset with uh, uh, nobody left her the key um, while we were gone, uh, you know, to the temple and such. And uh, she was getting some food ready for the, you know, for the people that uh, are coming out. And, uh, you know, it's like a social. Okay, so she was very, very upset. And I told myself, wow. Um, no, I told my daughter and say, wow, she, uh, she actually yelled at a lot of people by the time. Get there. <laughs> I felt very, very bad for her, you know, because I wouldn't want to be left out, you know, um, without the key. But then she forgot to ask for the key and her daughter forgot to give her the key, her daughter-in-law. And so my daughter asked me, she said, Mom, um, how could you still laugh about it? <laughs> okay, now let's go on to the to the green, okay? Let's go on to the to, to the supporting supporting uh green at uh, the leaves okay and so mom why how why why do you put up with that and not get upset and i say you know rachel i get upset with um real malice you know real malice and even if i'm i'm upset with real malice i don't you know i hardly show it you know in my heart though you know but you know so, so, so this is just part of the christian characteristic right you you kind of want it to okay those those are perline green okay now i uh since the leaf doesn't need to be that detailed and so now you can see me totally a different technique okay i'm going to go in and drop color as i go okay but the leaf is very very important because it cover the flower is the whole composition so i don't want to um now, if area that I didn't put in some of the red purple, you go ahead and do it, okay? I probably don't have time because I need to focus on the leaf now and then put a little color on the bulb down here, okay? On the bulb that's down here. And so she say, Mom, why, why do you um, not get angry? And I say, because she was, um, she was very angry and she was very sad, but it was because you know, she woke herself up, you know, maybe a little bit of anxiety, you know, and I told my daughter, I said, you know that, you know, I understand people's anxiety, you know, and so now I just dropped some sap green, so it's mixing color on there, isn't that fun? It's really fun, okay, it's very beautiful, and uh, and then uh, I clean the brush, and then I'm pulling some color out, you know, so water is in the mix too, right? And I say, I don't really, you know, you know, I get very sad, you know, sometimes I lost my temper, of course, I do, you know, and uh, and I get very sad if people don't forgive me. You know, how people, you can tell they don't forgive you, they just kind of avoid you the next time they see you, or they, the next 10 years they see you, <laughs> they just don't want to be friends, you know, because they think you talk, um, you have lost it when you're tired or hungry or whatever, you know. I don't, so I don't, I try not to do that. Isn't that pretty? I'll come in and add something, okay? Now, so there's one right here and then let's do this leaf right here, okay? Uh, so that we don't mess up the, because the, now the leaf is uh, like, like what I say, you know, the color, um, the intensity of the, of the, the mixture and how, how it come out in, from your brush, you know, you say, oh, I just can't control the water. You know, don't worry, okay? You will. And you might even come up with an even more brilliant method of uh, controlling water than I can, okay? So just do a lot of practice, okay? Because I don't have your brush. You know, some brush, like this one right here, the number two, that, you know, it can hardly pick up water. Now, and for watercolor is that is that love using the water, like me, that could be a little hard. That could be, you know, and so now clean brush, okay? Clean brush with some water. And sometimes, you know, I have blooms of color and then I will come in and fix it. And you guys see that. I fix things all the time right in front of your face. 
but maybe I don't mention it. I guess I should. Maybe I should mention it more. Oh no, I'm. You know, I should make a. <laughs> I should make a. Um, <laughs> make a make a big commotion about it. Oh no, I mess up. <laughs> so that you guys know that okay, uh, Kathy is actually fixing her her mistake. But I do that sometimes. You know, I'm just more. You know. I don't worry about it now. Okay, if you can look at this, you know, I don't like the way the color is mixing, so I just kind of come in and kind of brush it off, okay? And, uh, yeah, and so, you know, when people are having problem, I, you know, and it's not malice, you know, she's just very, very angry because she is just sad. But I guess uh, with the people in the receiving end, which is me or whatever the other sister that she yelled at, um, it might be kind of hard to take, but I just I try to laugh it off, and just say, okay, don't worry about it. She's just having a hard time. Okay, she's been waiting there for over half an hour with nobody going in, and we're all, you know, doing at the temple, doing our, our other stuff, you know, and uh, so, you know, what I'm saying is I try not to worry about myself and my feeling and worry about her, and why she's acting like that, you know, and so when I saw her, well, I actually called her because, you know, she had called me, you know, which I wasn't even responsible. I don't have the key, my husband does though, um, to the key to the church. And um, so I really couldn't do anything for her, but she happened to call me and so she yelled at me on the phone, yes. And then when I saw her, I gave her a big hug and tell her I'm really sorry that she had to, you know, be stuck out there. You know, and that uh, I I sure wasn't the person she should be upset with. <laughs> well, I like to throw jokes into her, and that's just that's just me. <laughs> I say, oh, get upset with this person or that one, but not me. You know, and so we make a joke, and then we, uh, you know, we're good, right? And then uh, you know, she still was not uh, very happy, but then after a little while, she really did get over it, and she said, okay, I'm over it. You know, but before she was over it, it was very hard for a lot of sisters. <laughs> and I felt very, very bad, you know. I do, you know, and that's like, okay, now what I'm going to do is, like, I'm going to put some indigo, okay? Dipping in some indigo color and just kind of separate that. You know, just ever so slightly, okay? Because the indigo color mixed with this whole thing is very, very beautiful for some reason so afterwards I I look at it and I decide that wow the indigo color is actually quite pretty and so that's why I'm putting some in here so I can you know kind of put some here and there you know because of the beauty of it right and so <laughs> and she said mom you know when people are yelling at you sometimes you can just get mad at them you know and uh, don't worry I have my share and I do you know not the uh, as uh, Christ-like as I want it to, but uh, not when there's no malice, you know. Anyway, so that's my little story that I wanted to tell you. <laughs> and I and I felt bad, you know. But, you know, I, I really understand, you know, to, to have, a, you know, a friend who would not talk to you for a long time because you have lost it. You know, something happened to you, you're in bad mood, you know, and they decide not to be your friend. It's just, you know, very, very hard, right? And so on our end, you know, if we have temper problem, then we need to really address it in our prayer and in our, you know, you can learn. There's many, many ways that can help you, you know, to address that kind of problem. But I guess, you know, what I'm trying to say is, is, is it's actually quite good to give people a break. Even though it might affect us, you know, especially those of us, uh, I think those of us, uh, like my father is very high tempered, okay? So when I was uh, young, oh, we get yelled at and beat up, you know, right? You know, in the Chinese society, that is appropriate, you know, as children. And so those kind of things happen to us. You know, and you would think that, oh, wow, then we can take this a lot better. No, actually, you take it worse. When you are older, you you know, when, you know, like the slight thing that uh, bring back some of those memory, um, uh, make it hard for you. You know, I understand that part because I've been through it, right? And, uh, you know, and uh, I hope it helps someone to hear this, you know, but... Uh, 
you know those kind of emotion are just you know event uh, specific okay now I just uh, you know put color on the edge and then uh, clean the brush kind of like this and then pull the color out okay and uh, and uh, you know yes it's it's hard right like you you wish you grow up with uh, but how many people can actually have that with uh, maybe my husband my husband's a father and mother are very well under control they don't really have tempers you know and so but um, like uh, meaning that they don't yell and beat up their children you know but they were um, you know, they grow up in the gospel of Jesus Christ in the church and so um, their parents were good to them and so it was maybe easier for them. I hate to, you know, say that, you know, and um, but, uh, you know, like uh, some people just don't grow up in the same kind of blessed state, if that makes sense, you know. I don't, but then I don't, you know, I, I like to use that stumbling block uh, to be kind. To people you know okay pulling out color to be kind to people instead of like oh I get yelled at and you should be yelled at by me or I'm not going to forgive you you know and so even though I I would look into my heart and say am I having a hard time that person just yell at me yes nobody likes to be yelled at you know it's not like I'm very thick skin I don't think anybody is thick skin okay do you see how much water I just pull the water out okay so it's kind of you know have that watercolor thing, okay? So I'm not gonna touch the bed because I like that part so much and I might come back and darken this spot a little bit, okay? There's another one right here. Now, uh, so I'm going to let you see all these, like with this, and then I'm gonna put the, do this leaf and start pulling out color. This leaf right here, pulling color. And then I'll finish this leaf after I say goodbye to you guys, okay? I'm not saying goodbye to you yet, but you know, because uh, that would be a really, really long time for me to have to edit. <laughs> to have to edit, uh, you know, it takes a lot of uh, gigabyte, yeah, to finish that. And so I'm gonna, like, you can see, you know, uh, nothing much to it, okay? You know, do the side and, you know, and then pull color out. And as you pull the color out, you know, like, I'm distinguishing this one from this one, right? As you pull the color out, then you you can drop in oh and I also want to drop in some purple okay let's do that make sure we do that okay you can just like kind of brush in some purple so that it make it because the leaf does have the pigment that's coming out of the flower right and then you can do red purple too okay yeah so I wanted to finish my thought on that you know as we uh, you know it's not easy for anyone to to um you know to be able to be scolded especially when it's not your fault <laughs> and uh but um you know you know it's just so you know you know that people don't really 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 want to let you have it and even if they do you know even if they do at the moment you know you know it's just it's just hard right it's just hard on people you know and I think everybody like to be able to be forgiven you know of uh, any of the temper you know and things you know and so I don't really get very very aware of it and not become friends now this is only on temper I'm not saying things like you know, adultery or any cheating or anything that is contemplated. Now, those you have to deal with it with a different way, okay? You know, and so I just wanted to make sure that that you, <laughs> you know, because I hate to, you know, have people like think, oh, you know, always forgiven, always forgiven, you know. Uh, in the scriptures, say, I, the Lord, will forgive whom I will forgive, but of you is required for, to forgive all men. It really is true. But then there are some things that are a problem, and then you need to be very, very aware of the person that, you know, that hurt you that way, and be very, very careful. I think I talk a little much on that subject, okay? Now I'm going to go to the indigo, and just uh, take this uh, a little bit like that, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm showing you that there is, uh, it's like a cup, okay? 
And so that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to take a dry, uh, a smaller brush here and pull that color out, okay? Pull that color out. And I don't mean to counsel either. I don't have counseling, you know, ability, you know. But just uh, from what I want, I'm just telling what I want. I want work on myself, you know. And uh, how do I become a happier person, you know? And uh, to be able to be, to make people happy too, you know. And that's, you know, the best I can do. Isn't that fun? You suddenly, you just by putting a little bit of color there, you know, you change the, the leaf, okay? Now let's do this little particular leaf over here um, because then it's the composition is good when there's something over here, okay? And so that's why this uh, this uh, uh, painting takes me so many time to finish it, <laughs> to finally uh, come out with something that I really really like okay now because of this area right so I need to bring it down over here so it doesn't look like it just come out of nowhere okay okay let's put some perlene green because that that first color I put in is, is actually sap green okay now I'm going to like pull that color out and then let it come out okay like my usual style of nice and loose watercolor and then you will see right I start pulling water and pigment and things out now why am I doing that I'm actually working on the background now and so I'm gonna start putting red purple dropping in the color okay and then I'm gonna drop some blue purple of course blue purple and drop in some color actually I can drop in some sepia color too I can actually drop in some yellow because um, yellow actually is in the sap green. Uh, should I do that? Yeah, let's like do a little bit of light yellow, okay, around here. Because you can see this yellow is actually over here, right? And so we can do that, okay? So yellow and purple are very, very good, you know, to have it in the painting together because it just kind of brighten up. Okay, and then keep going, okay? Keep going. So what I'm saying is there are things around here they actually, um, maybe there's another, another uh, hyacinth over here. Maybe there's some more leaf over there. Okay, now I have leaf drawing over here, which you can get the drawing. You know that, right? The same thing goes, you know, just go to my sunsetpeony.com and look up this one. Just uh, type in hyacinth or look for the hyacinth. Um, and then uh, you can get the drawing. I will have this drawing for you so that you don't have to. If you need so, then you don't have to worry, okay? Okay, now, just before I, I forget, I'm going to bring this uh, leaf down here, okay? A little bit, so that, because I don't actually have a pencil line over there. So that I would not uh, be, you know, that, that leaf doesn't come out of nowhere, right? I don't, you know, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> okay, now, but then I don't need to paint the whole thing I'm just uh, you know mixing it together so it's that kind of fantasy but you know that I didn't forget uh, that will be a little bit of what do you call that what's the word for that for that uh, ambiguous okay I don't like that okay so you know that that leaf come from this plant too okay just that much and you know make sure you go in and tidy up the little area and I don't usually do that that much when I'm painting uh, here, but uh, that is something that you might want to do. Okay, I just want to mention that and also if you don't see my detail very very detail If you have a tablet or phone, you can just go and expand uh, a little bit I guess you know so you can see that okay Okay, so because it's kind of fantasy over uh, over here all I have to do is like put a little line right from here and then you can see you know that kind of connect the leaf right okay and I have all this one two uh, three four five leaf down here to work with so I will do that okay and then the background will be kind of fantasy like like that okay it, it will be very very pretty and then you will see that in my introduction and also I have a little 
thing on the corner here that you can follow along, okay? But let's work on this uh, because um, the bulb Over here, like I say, we don't really, and uh, so we use uh, some kind of paint gray, okay, mixed with the purple, okay, and do the bulb. So the bulb is a little bit of gray color, but we're not doing the bulb in detail. The bulb is, it will be most like what I was talking earlier about decay, okay, and so we're gonna just uh, have a suggestion of the bulb, okay. It will be more like a decay, okay. Now I'm going in with a little bit more of that. Uh, dioxazine purple and so it's very very pretty so hopefully in the future year maybe next year when we come back and visit Hyacin again we will do um, okay now I go into set uh, no sepia okay because it's the color of the soil and a lot of bulb because they're pushing through the soil hopefully they uh, they have that sepia color mix in them okay and it's a very beautiful mix Okay, and then uh, let's go in with more purple and gray, okay? And so what I'm doing is just a suggestion right now, okay? Because this is not the, um, you know, this is more like the focal point. And so I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, dropping in color and kind of let it run and let it mix in together. And it's a suggestion of what you are looking at, okay? I actually bought some Hyacinth from uh, Home Depot. Is that Home Depot or is that Lowe's? Yeah, I went down to Home Depot and they have it and I was very happy. I'm forcing the bulbs right now. You know, you see that so much in the store and I am, I actually, uh, you know, like to force them and now it's the red violet, okay? Just to be consistent with the color up here, okay? And uh, I like to reuse them, grow them you know, under some grow light. So I just got some grow light and uh, I, I will grow them. Okay, isn't that fun? Okay, and there's another bulb right here, okay? And I'll do some, you know, mixing of the soft color, you know, over here so they're kind of connected. Okay, isn't that pretty? Isn't that fun? And so, um, I will, you know, tell you what I added, but you know, this is, you know, with all the skills, okay? I'm just gonna do the leaf, sorry, I don't have a, uh, more gigabyte to finish up that over here okay make sure that it's soft you know and uh, but i will um i will stop the video now and then uh, i would uh, after i finish doing the leaves and the and the background kind of like that you know pulling it all over the place then i will um do the and then you will do the introduction and then you will see that the whole thing and i hope you try it it might seems like a lot of detail work but it is good uh, for us to do this okay and please subscribe don't forget don't forget okay because i i need that to know that uh, what's happening out there okay and uh, your input and uh, okay i will see you next time love you guys